buds. So I'm heading to Singapore for yet another food adventure. But this time I'm not with Joyce, so that means there's gonna be a lot of vegetarian food that I'm gonna be trying. So stick around. Get your munchies on because you're Get watching it, Taste Buds. Morning, and I am going to meet with Hedy Koo from the Straits Times who is accompanying me for this whole series as Joyce is in here. This is Hedy Koo. She's the SD Food Online Editor for the Straits Times. She writes about food and also comes up with recipes and makes cooking videos for their website. <laughs> After rain, I guess there are dark skies, right? Yes, yes. Um, so we're lucky we're indoors. So where are we? We're at the Haugang Hainanese Village Centre, also known as the Lorong Asu Market. And it's okay. a food centre where you can get a variety of foods for breakfast, uh, for lunch and some stalls also remain open for dinner. What are we trying today? We are trying kaya toast. This is something that if you come to Singapore, you definitely have to eat it. A very popular breakfast food and also tea time snack for Singaporeans and uh, foreign visitors alike. And we're definitely going to eat some little Chinese pancakes with different fillings. There's peanut, chocolate, Red bean, okay. yeah. So you have a choice of uh, fillings to choose from. Okay, so that's gonna be a pretty long breakfast, I think, right? <laughs> yes, a big yeah. breakfast. Hold on, avocado toast. We're first trying Kaya at the Seng Huat traditional coffee stall, run by Mr. Chen Kiat Chow and Madam Kok Ko Kiao. This coconut jam is made with coconut milk, eggs, sugar, and pandan. amazing is that you didn't have it straight from the grill because we had to take pictures and all yeah. that but even after all the picture taking it's and shooting out of so it crispy. yeah it's still crispy I, can, can you hear it yeah I yeah. Can hear it, yeah the sound effect there's a what sound effect take a bite again? so it's this is it's not just about you know the flavor and the taste and the aroma of the coconut jam it's but a lot about texture. yes that's right and that's what I really really love about food flavors textures and of course the best part is putting it in your mouth. Our second course for breakfast is fluffy pancakes. This is He He Min Jiang Kui, run by Madam Chu Sok Kiang. She's been making Min Jiang Kui for 36 years now. To start off, the pancake batter is poured onto the customized pans. The pan has to be hot when you pour in the batter. To cook the top layer, a lid is placed, and then once that's done, the filling is put. When you control the temperature correctly, the resulting texture of the pancake is fluffy, with crisp edges. Ooh. Heidi is actually getting us the pancakes. I'm sitting here guarding our stuff. And it is absolutely pouring outside. We have three pancakes here. That's we right. The peanut, peanut filling. Uh, the red bean. Yeah. And the coconut. That's right. right. Ooh, uh, so I asked for the coconut one because I love coconut. So <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't not try it. So which one are you gonna go for? It the coconut. Um, I think I'll try the red bean first and sure. then the coconut. Sure, sure. It's so soft. That's right. I like how generous they are with the filling. Well, I like it because it's not overly sweet. I like how the coconut flavor is not overpowering. It's grated coconut and they, they cook it with sugar. Okay. Yeah, they cook it with red sugar. 
because that's no how it gets the color. For the peanut filling, they usually mix it with some sugar because peanut on its own, it's not, it's not sweet. Look, it's just it's filling out. It's dripping everywhere. Nice. Right, look. Serve it with a spoon as well because then you want to eat everything. Oh no, you don't no. need a spoon for this. You fold up the paper and then you're like... <laughs> I think so far, my favorite is the peanut. <laughs> that's why it's a yeah, signature no, favorite. Yeah. We're stuck, but that won't stop us. Next week, we're trying dishes out in Singapore's countryside. So stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.